Welcome friends, good morning. Uh, once again I am here with uh, another topic of class 10. It's uh, from Supplementary Reader, The Midnight Visitor by Robert Arthur. It's a fiction and it's a detective fiction in which a detective is being presented. So it's a very thrilling account of a secret agent, Ozabel. There are three characters in this very chapter, Ozabel and uh, Fowler and Max. So you will see there are two secret agents, Max and Ozabel and one is writer that is Fowler. So this is the thrilling account that means it's thrill of, full of thrill and suspense and uh, this is about Ozabel. Ozabel did not fit any description of a secret agent as it said that uh, secret agents are a uh, fit, uh, they are tall, they are dark, they are they are well grown, uh, they, they are muscular but Ozabel is a kind of a fat man, he's a stout and uh, he, he does not fit that description of uh, uh, secret agent. So the chapter enables the students to, to think quickly and act wisely and come in the situation of danger and surprise. As uh, this Ozabel, he is able, able to think quickly, think with calmness and think with surprise wisely so, so the students uh, get enabled to do these things in their daily life. The story presents an important quality of secret agent which is presence of mind. Always you should have presence of mind as it is the duty of uh, we can say it's 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 the part of uh, duty of uh, these uh, detectives that they need presence of uh, their mind they should be present uh, uh, psychologically in, in involved in their activities that's why this is the more important thing a young writer comes to meet Ozabel to get some in inspiration for his next story or novel but as Ozabel says the young writer must be highly disappointed to see an unassuming person as a detective. So you might have seen that after these things, these, these detectives or the people, uh, they get, uh, we can say, uh, interviewed, uh, the, the, the persons who have cracked some kind of uh, uh, miseries or mysteries. Uh, so they get uh, uh, interviewed for those things. So uh, Ozabel uh, is being approached by a Fowler, a writer who wants to just get a plot for his new story or novel. And he's a writer. So he comes up and Ozabel thinks uh, to himself that he may be disappointed because he has not seen me as it is depicted uh, in the movies, in the in the novels that uh, those people who are detectives are handsome, fair and they are tall and they are uh, grown in, in muscular. So I'm not like that. So he should be, he must be or he may be. Uh, disappointed. Secret agents in fiction are projected at like idle men, tall, dark, handsome and fit. As I told you that this is the presence of uh, how they are projected, how they are presented in the movies or in the fictions. Ozabel is a very clever the way a detective should be. He made a plan to get rid of Max by tricking Max with false balcony that connects another room. Look, in the story you will see that there is a situation where this uh, Ozabel is able to create a kind of a false balcony which is not really there, projects it and gets rid of another secret agent which is Max who, who is the enemy of Ozabel. So now coming to the summary part, meeting of secret agent Ozabel and writer Fowler. They are in the hotel, they meet and they are talking to each other and there comes another secret agent at the same time with a pistol in his hand and he, he Ozabel is just waiting for uh, for some papers in that very hotel to get these papers uh, there are some secret papers there are papers of some very important aspect so this sec another secret agent max he is after those papers as well he comes to the hotel and he points a gun a pistol which is an automatic pistol towards uh, Ozabel and he wants those papers but Ozabel over here thinks he says that uh, he, he, he shows his presence of mind, he confuses Max, he says that look Max you will not be able to run away from here because I have informed the local police for help because I was thinking that there will be some kind of problem with me so uh, there is a knock on the door at the same time and he said look police has come and what you need to do you need to go out I have told them, them if anybody will be there uh, um, against me so they will shoot him so you are against me, you are pointing a gun towards me, they will shoot you definitely so you are in danger now please you go out of this very balcony which is there as it is dark outside which is there outside and which connects another room you can go through the balcony and go into the another room and then you can vanish from here so he creates a kind of a balcony over there but max what he when he jumps there is no existing balcony he just falls down and dies and 
with this presence of mind and calmness and 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 a kind of a uh, thing that uh, happened in 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 a great uh, we can say uh, hurry he took a great decision and saved his life and the papers as well and got rid of another uh, secret agent who was his enemy and uh, uh, just makes him to jump out of the window uh, into the balcony which really is not there and the this uh, another secret agent dies so now i'm going to give you an assignment you need to do this very assignment for yourself and this story also shows great presence of mind as i told you that he showed presence of mind and he just created balcony which is not actually there or the ability to think quickly and calmly act calmly and wisely in a situation of danger and surprise it was situation of danger uh, because he was pointing a gun towards him and he acted calmly and wisely and he created the scene of uh, having a balcony so actually which was not there now what you have to do is give example of your own experience we show someone's or your own presence of mind like this if you were some time having that presence of mind in the school anywhere or anybody else whom you know whom you know very well so taking his experience what you need to do you need to write it in a form of story of about 200 to 250 words this is an assignment for you do it it is very important part of the story so that was all in this very chapter it's short it was very uh, good fiction so hope you like this video thank you very much